A top GOP congressional candidate is accused of registering sexually explicit domain names. Tonight, Trey Radel is firing back, saying his former employees are to blame. Foreign Reporter's Mike Mason asking him the tough questions tonight. Mike? Yeah, Radel says he had no idea what his former employees were doing, but his opponents say he is the one who is ultimately responsible. Uh, Trey Radel is said to be the GOP's top pick to replace Congressman Connie Mack. But now Radel's wild ride on the campaign trail has hit a speed bump. His former company is accused of buying racy domain names, some even considered pornographic. It's my company and I take responsibility for it at the end of the day. Okay. It's just a shame that these things were purchased. These allegations surfacing after a liberal newspaper published the article. Radel admits he started a business about a decade ago which bought and sold domain names. Between 2001 and 2005, he says two of his contracted employees purchased sites with names like Sex Guide Online, the Spanish term for whorehouse, and others we can't even say on television. They were purchasing hundreds of names every single week, uh, and they got creative. Unfortunately, these were not good words that they bought. Rado claims he had nothing to do with these domains, and after finding out what his employees did, he eventually reprimanded them. You did not take action against them immediately according to your own timeline. Yeah, I, I did not fire them or, or stop working with them. Some stupid things were purchased, and that's that. Paige Kriegel is running against Radel and feels this behavior is unacceptable for a congressional candidate. It's inevitable that our past will all catch up with us, and uh, it, it's, it's not the proper decorum for the office. Today, Connie Mack's office issued this statement saying in part, Voters don't care about any of this kind of senseless stuff the press seems to focus on, including the number of times my toilet is flushed or amount of money Bill Nelson got for selling his home in Washington. We should tell you that Radel is married to Fox 4 anchor Amy Wegman. Also, Radel has since closed his website domain company. He says none of those racy domains were ever sold or made into active websites. In the studio, Mike Mason, Fox 4 in your corner.